Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire, where we are destroying the rest of the sick men's of the world, okay? And today we are going to be finishing up with our good friends, the uh, Chinese, as I destroyed the last little bits of their independent little empires, in a very, very quick, rapid succession, because honestly, this whole thing is kind of... If, if I was them, I'd probably be very much calling BS on the entire event, but that would be me. Let's see, and then I don't, they don't have to pay as, My people across the world, because I own most of the world and its economy, don't have to pay that much. It's a really... I think my world I've created is a very lovely one, and no one would want to not live in it. Let's see, and then right here... Oh man, we don't have enough... Ah, dang it. There we go. Yeah, you could come in handy. Let's go get that. I want to make sure we have all this land right here. So make sure we can start doing some stuff. Alright, because it looks really weird if we don't have it. Let's go see. Create Protectorate. There we go. 7.4 Infamy. That's not too bad. Let's go see. Kaboomy. We got a lot of Kabooms going around. Let's go see. Island Coastal States. Colonial Province. Yeah. Once we finish up with all this land, it's going to be looking really nice over here in Ottoman land. <laughs> Ottoman land stretches a long ways, too. Oh my goodness, look at all that empire we have. Look at all that empire. Mm-hmm. I love this land. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, anyways, people, we do have our next conquest available. Probably going to be Yuan. Take over the Yuan states and then take over the Tibetan plateau. Um, maybe also if Siam, is, if Siam joins in again, the war will probably take over Siam, too. That way we just have uh, more land. Then from there what we're going to probably do is uh, declare war on Mongolia. And then fight the Japanese. So that we can defeat the Japanese and finally take them out of the war. Because I am getting a little bit sick of Japan spewing up all the nations I want. Like, who does that? Who seriously does that? It annoys me. So let's go deal with that. Allow die, synchronization, whatever you want to call it. It's really awesome. We're actually making negative amount of money now, so... Let's go deal with that. I mean, literally, I really don't care because my economy is basically the entire world's economy. No one can really argue that I basically own the entire world's economy. Yes, if they want to fight, they can fight. Okay? More people, the more people, the merrier. Let's go see, are we almost done with creating massive amounts of conscription? Yes, we are. We just have a couple more areas to create these in. Oh my goodness, my armies, man, my armies. And then we can start round two of making gigantic armies. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have so many armies everywhere. Oh, Glorious Nation's the first one, and now we're officially first in everything. This could become a colonial state that's good, that doesn't tie up my uh, influence anymore, allow annexation. There we go. Uh, fall back on position. Let's see, so... Let's see, so let's release another nation. Man, man, Germany, man, you've helped us out so much. Like, seriously, if I didn't have Germany here, I don't know what I'd do. Release them. Alright, and let's see. I also want to be fabricating, while we're also at war, I want to make sure we're fabricating a claim on someone. I want to have this, this land over here conquered up, so I make sure I have it. So I'm going to wait for a second. Get my colonial North Siberian provinces. Thank you. Yeah, you guys, I would believe, would become a province pretty quickly. There we go. And then that's the last little bit of it I need. Let's go see Manchuria. Go start adding a Kaza Spela against you guys. Okay. Now, you guys declare war. Alright, establish protectorate. Probably China's not going to join in. Uh, because for some reason we're not allied with China. China. Own core provinces. Oh, China, really? Oh, dang it! That means I'm actually gonna have to fight this. But if I honestly look at it, I probably could fight it. So let's go see. Let's go send our troops right over there. Let's go send our troops right over there. Let's see. I got my army over here built. Let's go see. Let's go send these guys over here. These three should be able to conquer the, all of this. Um. We do have a slight variation. Okay, you guys better join in, Philippines, because I probably will need your guys' help. Okay, probably will need just a little bit more men down there, so let's go see. Go send these guys, go get them over here. And let's see, we're going to need to conquer all of this. 
let's see. I'm gonna be conquering this, this, and this in this war. Um, is there any regional powers I can include in my power struggle? Um, Korea? Uh, Japan, maybe. Yes! Wow! Okay, Japan. You'll be my ally for this. In fact, I'll probably use you guys to go conquer all of, uh, Yuan. Okay, you guys, establish protectorate, China. Very, Japan very likely to join in. They're like, Shh, yeah, this is what we do. Okay, there we go. Two Sicilies join in. Let's go see. And now let's go get all of our vassals that need to be in this, in this. Call in, very likely. There we go. Let's go see. Belfast, call in, very likely. Go. Let's see. Lafayette. I think I might actually start cutting away for this part too. Because this might get very... This is a lot of people I have to call into a war. Oi. Man, so many vassals. So many vassals. The French basically have no chance anymore. In fact, as soon as I'm done with China, as I said, I'm going to go after the French. Because they're my last big rivals in Europe. Once the French are gone, no one. No one can compete with me. And I don't think the French are going to last very long against me. Really, I don't. I think they're going to die pretty quickly. By the way, has anyone become a great power that I don't want them to? No. Everyone's basically become a great power that I want them to. Okay. And let's see. They're going to call in all their friends. So, Tibet, Yuan. Oh, you guys are back at war with me. That was a stupid decision. So, yeah. Japan, you better... Let's see. So, we can kind of scope out Japan's army now. They still are mostly made up of indentured people, so we could probably still take over Japan pretty quickly. Wouldn't take that much effort. But we need to start, like, building soldiers over here. And let's see. Um, we're going to go send our soldiers from up here once they all get into their own privateered army. Let's see. All right. Can I get over here? No. I'm probably going to need Burma. Burma, will you guys? No. Okay, my men are trapped then. No, wait, wait, no they're not. Go to the coastline. Go to the coastline, everyone. Okay, I do have one more uh, clipper, ship, transport, whatever you want to call it. Once it gets to the ports, I'll probably divide it up. Go start sending half of them to go pick up another army. And let's go see. Let's see how strong these guys are. I'm kind of curious. Wait. Can they actually fight me? I have no clue. I've never fought these guys before. Let's see. How's their basic unit compo composition? Is it good enough to fight me with? Kind of? Let's see. Eh, it's still not westernized nation, so I don't know what they're going to do. But, let's see. I'm going to get that land here soon, too. So that then my vassals will be able to join in. Let's see. Armenia call into this war. Yeah, we need you in a war, I mean, yeah, you guys have already landed troops, which was amazing, may I add. We need you guys in this war. Okay, and let's see, we got all you guys in this war. Yes, we do. Probably thinking it's way too far away to fight, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we got three armies over here. We got everyone we need to be over here. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with our amount of armies, we could probably go conquer west and go destroy all these guys. It's just going to take us longer than I wanted. Okay, that's the only thing. Alright, let's see. Let's just go destroy all these armies individually. Because I don't want them to all group up and come attack me at once. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it seems like it seems like these guys are pretty much dead over here. Go right here, they go right there. And let's see, we got a couple good armies right over here. Alright, now, you. Divide up into two. Okay, we're gonna go pick up this army. And then we'll go pick up with the other army. We're going to pick up that army. Okay? There we go. Established Protectorate gave me a little bit of infamy. Oh, my goodness. Maybe Japan will help me out with that war. Alright, this could come in handy. Uh, good things. Good things happen to me. Ooh. Man, it would be way quicker if I had way more helpful enemies or people. Let's see. Hey! You guys, get your ships and go help me. Oi. I know you guys are idiots, but seriously, don't be this much of idiots. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got more of our men over here. This is actually literally the first war we're actually, I think we're actually literally fighting. And it's against a little tiny uncivilized nation. Does that make me feel kind of bad right now? A little bit. Okay, fall back. Alright. We don't start sieging until we finish off the men. 
Um, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 big armies over there. Once I get through all this... Oh, there you are, Japan! I was waiting for your lovely hand of guidance to come over here and kill all these guys. And let's see, with Siam, I want to add a war goal to a completely establish a protectorate over them. So, as soon as you guys are done, just tell me that you guys are done, and we can just destroy them. Okay? Siam, uh, Japan's forces should be able to crush through all that pretty quickly. Uh, we're crushing through what we need to get through. Uh, let's see. Let's see, the next part of my plan is I'm going to take out, take out these guys. Almost got the cosplay life for it. I'm probably going to hope that Japan will do that for me. That way I have literally a good amount of troops. Alright. Alright. We're definitely dividing China the way I like it. Let's go crush these guys with this army. With this army. And let's go... Alright. Let's go see. Let's go combine these armies. That way we have a way more powerful troop count. Let's go see. Machu Menace. Good job. You guys realize the truth as the wise Park Spectre once said. Alright. Let's go right here. Go right here, wait, go go right there, go right there, go right there, and then go right there. We should be able to crush through all those armies. Wouldn't be that hard to defeat all of them. Let's see, we just got our troops right here. You guys get on the boat, you guys go right here, I guess. Actually, you should go right there because we're about to go conquest that. Long live the Ottoman Empire! Huzzah! Okay, and let's go see right there. Lazy Navy's are not adapt. I agree. Let's go right here. You guys go right there, you guys go pick up these guys, go right there. You guys go on the shoreline, go right there. You guys combine, make a new army right there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we, we got this. We got this. Okay, annexation, let's see. Manchuko, let's see. Declare one. Establish protectorate. Japan, will you join in? I'll call you in anyways. Japan joined in, but the two Sicilies did not join in. Good job, Japan. You guys know you guys should not try to test me. Because I will destroy you. I'm not kidding about that. I will destroy you. Let's see. And then you guys. Let's see. Divide up to make more men. Oh, man, yeah. We have literally an entire army death stack right here. This is gonna. This is probably army is probably all going to be used to fight France. Just so we can instantly destroy France. But it's nice to have them over here. Let's see. We have our other armies just constantly killing off. Whatever Siamian troops are over here. We're gonna, I think we should finish off Siam and then go start moving into over here. Because I'm pretty sure my troops can instantly deal with all this. Okay, let's go see and then just crush through all this line. Because I'm pretty sure... I think I've already destroyed most of their army. I haven't even really begun to destroy their armies. I mean, they do have half of their army over here. But I'm pretty sure I can deal with that. Let's see right over here. Get the colonization. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see, do we need anything else? Let's see, Young Linkage Sticks. Let's see, Create Protectorate, go to Colonial Powers, there we go. Yes, yeah, almost all of Ottoman China. I mean, not Ottoman China. Ottoman China is right over here. Uh, almost all of this Ottoman land is almost all gone. Let's see, and we're just destroying their armies down here. They're literally dying in like droves. Wow. Okay, let's see, you're going to pick up this army. I'm going to go send them over here. You guys go right there. You guys up here. We need to probably do this one. Yes, we do. Yes, one more, one more little tiny place. And then we finally got all of the desert. Well, we got all the Siberian Peninsula underneath our control, which is awesome. Okay, and let's see. You guys move in right here. China basically has that province, the capital. I don't know why it's taking them so long. All right, let's see. Ooh, I almost crashed there. All right, let's see. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. Yeah, I have an entirely new army down here waiting to go kill you guys. You guys are not going to defeat me that easily. Alright, let's go down here. Let's go down there. Defeat these guys. Let's see, we have a couple big armies going to be starting to move down here. I don't mind because it honestly means that there's more people to kill. Alright, you guys go down here. Go start sieging up this land. See, is there any more armies? Uh, no, I think I cleaned up most of the armies. Yay! Okay, then that means I pretty much means that I'm pretty sure we almost have enough time to start building up new armies here very, very soon. I can't wait. We're going to build up new armies, guys. New armies. Oh, man. First conquest. Okay, let's see. All right. And then we're finishing up these guys' conquest. All right. Let's see. 
Let's see. You guys are destroying this army. These guys should be coming down here very, very soon. And we're going to go destroy all them too. Ooh, where did I even use an army? I just used like basically one army to destroy them. Alright, you guys divide up into two. Go send half the men to go right here. Go send the other half of the men to go right there. We're going to try to see if we can see just down a little bit quicker. Alright, let's go right there. You guys go right there. Alright, let's see. We're slowly, apparently by this standards, we're slowly starting to lose the war with China. Really, we're just kind of, we're just kind of lollygagging because I have to get all my troops over here. So really, we're not losing, we're just kind of letting them think that they win. Okay, because right now, if you guys see this, we're basically, Italy formed again! Holy mother of pearl. What will, do I literally have to break these guys to shreds to kill them? Uh, Italy. You guys, I'm going to kill you. Next turn, when I have an opportunity, I'm going to destroy you and make you guys never be born. Because you guys are an annoying pests and you guys should no longer be in this game. I already feed you guys once. I don't need you guys back again. Oh my goodness. That's so annoying right there, people. Seriously. That whole event chain where they like keep, like, the Italians just keep forming no matter what. That's really annoying, okay? Japan's taking care of this as I thought they would. Probably not going to take care of that because that is my own land. Romania is going to go take care of it, which I love them. Okay, they're one of my favorite people. Alright, let's go down here. Go start sieging up the rest of this. This is almost done. We are almost done with all this land, which is good. Let's go see. Let's go have these guys go siege up that. We're just crushing through all the rest of these lands. Let's go see. Are you guys going to crush through what I need you guys to crush through? Yes, you guys are. Yes. Yes. Just completely want to KO these armies. There's nothing they can do about it. Oh, my goodness. And then now I have even more. No, no. We're not going to reform it. Keep it as the same. It will work. I guarantee it. If we keep trying it, it will work. There we go. The last little bit of that province is now sieged up. And now Japan's just basically going to go invade because... The Japan, and because they're awesome. And let's see, we got most of this land. I think we only need these pieces of land left to finish off these guys. Unless these guys want to give up their freedom and so sovereignty right now, which I would not mind. You want to give up? Uh, wait. No. They definitely don't want to give up their freedom and sovereignty yet. Okay, some of my friends is messaging me right now. I'm going to give them just a second. My episode's almost over, so if he wants to hang, I'll wait until afterwards. Although I hate it when my friends like start texting me during the middle of the day, it's usually annoying. Ooh, okay, so let's see. So I am, you guys are done for. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh gosh. So that's Ottoman Asia, everyone. Alright, let's go start sending our troops over here to go start conquesting Gunzai. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go get our troops. Uh, let's go get our troops. Oh my goodness. Let's go get our troops. Now we actually have decent armies over here. Oh my goodness, they're dead. They're seriously dead. I mean, there's absolutely nothing they can do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Ottoman Asia. Ottoman Asia. Oh man, we are looking so pu beautiful right now, people. Like, we are the massive destructions of the world. Ah, oh, and the stupid, stupid Italians formed again. I have to go kill them off again. Because Italians don't know when to learn. When I don't like you guys, you probably shouldn't come back to life. Okay? I don't like you. I don't like you. Okay? Let's see. Japan's doing its job. Oh my goodness. Let's see. The last little bits of their army should be pretty fun to destroy. Let's go. Let's go destroy the rest of them. Oh my goodness. The sad part is, is that even if they siege up all this land, I basically still got enough of a land share that I could go destroy them. It's really sad to think of that, no matter how much they try to destroy my land, I basically have a more powerful army than they will ever have. And there's just no possible way they can defeat me. Let's go destroy this army right over here. That way we destroy another army. Yes, and as we can see, we're sieging up everything. Oh my goodness, we can siege faster than them, we can go, we can destroy faster than them. It is... <sighs> yeah, now they, I think now they realize just how over the, over the top they are in. There's absolutely nothing they can do to stop me. I'm basically the destroyer of worlds. Long live the Ottoman Empire. Excelente. 
Oh my goodness, destroyed more of their army. I think I destroyed the last little bits of army. And... Oh my goodness. Yeah. We become way too powerful for anyone to deal with. At least over here. I think we still have at least a couple states that could possibly fight us over there. Oh! Barnacles. I probably should have fought them a little bit quicker. So most likely our next conquest after we're done with all this and all these lands is I'm going to go destroy China. Because China is a big threat. They're bigger than the French and everyone else. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.